Good morning, everybody, and we are live at Dartmouth Memorial Stadium here at, uh, in Dartmouth, Massachusetts, right across the street from Town Hall. Today, we have a great matchup between the Falmouth Clippers and the Dartmouth Indians. Ben Smith on the call for you guys today, and it is April vacation, which means the pay, uh, the Indians are coming in here at a 1-3 and three start, and are losing are out with four players today due to the April vacation break um, and today they face off against the one and three both teams are one and three uh, the Falmouth Clippers who really this year ha um, have lost their first first three uh, first three games and then just one recently the other day uh, the Indians however, uh, beat New Bedford on Thursday, uh, and Friday they lost to Fairhaven, 11-10 in that contest. Um, so let's see how they do today. Coach Seamus trying to focus on bouncing back and getting their team at a 2-3 and three record on the season. Along with the Falmouth Clippers this year, uh, they are looking forward to be back at a 2-3 and three record as well. As we are waiting for some clearance from the officials, we are getting ready to rock here at the stadium, uh, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and for my people up in Portugal right now in Spain on that trip, hope you are tuning in and enjoying this contest today. It will be Haskell along with Mohan on the face-off today. Both goalies uh, today, uh, Babu and Arlene Johnson. I don't have their first names here on the roster. So Baby. And here we go. We are underway here at the stadium and face off one by Dartmouth as Haskell takes it down the near field. And we'll throw it over to the near side of Goldson. The Indians players out today are number 22, Izzy Seguin, number 9, Kayla McGee. Both are in Portugal and Spain. Number 2, uh, Gabby Velasquez, and number 14, Ava Crane. Vincent to the outside to Goldison. Out right in front and taken away there from Falmouth. And as Emerson White trips up on the play, a chase down down the near field from Callie Rose goes over to the near end to Mohan. Mohan will just take her time. We'll throw it over to DiPietro. De DiPietro. Left side. Hawkins. Hawkins over to Brown. Brown over back to Mohan. Mohan shoots, and it's off the mark there. Second chance opportunity. Shoots, and... Outside there, great shot along the way by Roth. Avery Smith taking it down the near field for the Indians. 
Here's Smith. Has time. Behind the net, here's Emerson White. Back to Golden. Now over to Sarah Kelly. Kelly from behind the net. Here she here's Haskell as she is tripped up. Uh, a stick violation here, it looks like, as Haskell will have a chance on putting the Indians up first. Haskell shoots, scores! And the Indians are up early with 9.26. One and nothing Indians. And let's look at an instant replay here. Just a wall perfect shot there. That's what you're going to get, Merrimack, next year. One of the best. One and nothing, Dartmouth. Face off. One by Dartmouth once again. Here's Sarah Kelly. Went the wrong way for a minute, but goes in the other direction as it is turned over there. Turned over by Falmouth as Callie Rose was looking over to looking to pass it over to Kyla Martin, but to no avail. Near side. Mohan, Mohan, back end to Roth. Roth from behind the net goes over to Mohan once again. Now Hawkins, Hawkins, open player. Here's Harris, Harris, covered by Haskell. Roth, now it is scooped up by Hawkins, who goes, who backs up on the play here. And shot wide to the right. Great defense there for Dartmouth as they turn it over. Lauren Kelly will pass it over to Maddie Goldison as we have a foul blown. Looks like a little miscommunication. It was offside by Back end shot, goal! DePietro. And the defense will huddle up for a minute to look forward what they want to do next here. Let's look at an instant replay here as the pick to Petro does, does a full 360 to put Falmouth up one on one at a tie game with 740 left in the first. And the face off is Scooped up and won by Falmouth. Falmouth takes it down the near field. Here, here they go. It is DePietro. Back to the near corner. 
and bobbled up wrath and from behind the net here's wrath And they're going to, oh, we got a whistle blown. This is, a penalty shot here. And here's Hawkins. Hawkins shoots. Shot right in front, saved. Now the rebound. By Brown from behind the net now t passes it over to the near end to Mc Mohan. Now right in front, shot. Batted away to the right. And tripped up a scrum for the ball as it is jarred loose and the ball in possession will go in favor of Dartmouth here. And a scrum between Makai Vincent down the near field, and the Indians take over. They are not letting Makai go here. And whistle blown, and here she goes, Avery Smith down the near field. As a freshman, she was really good for the Indians. And a stick hit here called by Falmouth. And here's Callie Rose. Rose from behind the net. Back over to Haskell. Haskell shoots wide to the left there from Grace Haskell. Shot is, it's a goal. Grace Haskell once again, two to one Dartmouth. Instant replay there. Great shot, ricochets off the ground. It's nothing new from Grace Haskell. She's, she is her for sure. And here's the face-off, which is scooped up by Dartmouth. Sarah Kelly wins the face-off. From behind the net, here's Kyla Martin. Over to the near side, Emerson White. Uh, now here's Goldison. And loose ball by Kelly and a turnover here for Falmouth. And the defense for Maddie Gold is in covered there by Rol Ralston. Near side over to DePietro who will slow down. Passing it over to Harris. 
Harris to Femino. And turnover here from the Indians. And it is taken down the near field. Here's Grace Haskell. Haskell trying to chase it down. And turnover, looks like. Yep, turnover there for Falmouth. Down the near field, Hawkins. Hawkins, bad pass there by Harris. By Hawkins, correction. Behind the net. The picture. I think they're alternating between the picture and uh, Hawkins for attack. Now the shot wide to the left. I think that's what their adjustment is. Here's Sarah Kelly. And the newest rule, which is pretty interesting, this year from the MIAA for lacrosse is 12 minute quarters. Last year it was halves. It was, I think it was like 25 minute or 30 minute halves for lacrosse. Now it's 12 minute quarters. So they shorten the time of the game to 40 minutes. I don't have an opinion whether or not I like it or not. I think it's better because it makes a game go by really faster. That's that's kind of like the pro. The con is is that less team less less teams are getting less scores. Teams are getting less scores. That's what I meant to say. Not less teams are getting less scores. And the time will t is rolling down in the final seconds of the first half. And there it is, the buzzer. At the end of one, two to one Dartmouth. We will be right back, ladies and gentlemen, right after this.
All right, so let's look at a replay of all the goals. Now, the first goal to start off the game, Grace Haskell on a penalty shot, puts the Indians up at one nothing. Later on, just a few minutes later, two minutes later perhaps, uh, picture, uh, shot for Falmouth, a score there uh, from Patrick, uh, the picture, excuse me, tongue twisted. Uh, now here, another one from Grace Haskell puts the Indians up two to one, and that's where we stand at the end of the first quarter here. We're going to start off the second quarter right now as the Indians are Last year, it struck me when she didn't play varsity, but glad she's being called up this year for sure. I mean, last year you had um, you had Avery Smith get called up to varsity, and it kind of did struck it did struck me a little different though when she didn't get called up. Shot, scores! Hat trick Haskell with three. Puts the Indians up three to one. In the first minute 18 of this second quarter, the Indians are up three to one. And let's look at that. Great shot there from Haskell. And the Indians are up once again. By two. And now the face off from Haskell and Missouri McSherry, excuse me. Near side, scooped up from Mohan. Mohan will take her time. Spins around traffic. Goes from behind the net. Back over to Brown. Brown. Going near side to Femino. And behind the net, here's Roth. And whistle blown. And looks like it, uh, there's a foul on Dartmouth here, which means that Falmouth will have possession from behind the net, pass over to the near side. Back over behind the net is Femino. And shot. Here's Roth. Shot. Wide up to the left. Spin around. Shot. Goal. Roth there. Two to three. Falmouth trails by one. And let's look at an instant replay here. Does a full back throw shot from Roth and the and the Clippers are one point away 
in tying this one off. Now it is Mohan and Haskell once again on the face-off. And scooped up by Makai. And Makai loses possession. Looks like she was hit in the head. In traffic. Mohan passes passes it back to Roth. And a scrum for the ball, scooped up by Mohan. And another scrum for it, which is scooped up by Dartmouth, Lauren Kelly. Lauren Kelly will, she was going to run down the field as she was tracked down by a group of Clippers on the play there. And looks like Lil Ganji will have possession. We'll take it down the near fields. Ganji. Back over to Emerson White. White on the attack. Here she goes behind the net. Sarah Kelly. We'll pass it over to Grace Haskell. Haskell will patiently wait here. Has an open Sarah Kelly. Correction, Makai Vincent on the left side of the screen. Shot. Saved right in front. Scooped up by Sarah Kelly. Skelly will pass it to uh, Goldison. Now back over to Makai Vincent. Right in front, Martin. Martin will shoot. Martin. No good. Looks like it was a bad shot there by Martin. The weather, you know, the weather has been really nice lately here in Massachusetts. I got to say for the past week, the weather's being nice. And then later this week, it's going to decline. Uh, tomorrow, it's supposed to be cloudy. Thursday, it's going to be crappy weather. This is New England, man. <laughs> One day, it's nice. And the other day, it's like 50 degrees. One day, it's like 80. The another, another day, it's like 50. Man, I thought I was going to open my pool up this weekend, but shot. Goal! Sarah Kelly. Just said, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. What a shot from behind the net. Just tripped the goalie. Uh, Babo. And the face-off. Won by the Indians once again. 4-2 to two Indians right now with 5.30 left remaining. And if you are watching right now for our viewers in Dartmouth or if you're watching in Portugal, Spain, uh, 
hopefully, uh, glad you're tuning in and watching this wonderful contest, and hope you guys are enjoying your trip right now in Portugal, in, in uh, Spain. Shout out to you guys in Madrid, my crew there. Across the pond. Emerson White. Near side over to Goldison. Goldison from behind the net. We'll spin out of traffic and we'll pass it over to uh, Callie Rose, you know, which it will go back to Rose there after Goldison had no room there. Now Haskell attack, shot, goal! Grace Haskell, make it four for her. And another... Great shot on the attack from Haskell. As the Indians move to a 5-2 lead with 419 left remaining. The Indians so far with a 1-3 record this season. Their only three losses came to Plymouth, Plymouth North, uh, Aponiquit, which that was a tight one, and another tight one, a, na a big of a nail biter at the end. I heard uh, Grace Haskell shot, uh, scored a goal with like eight seconds left remaining, which kind of is pointless to say to score in that particular moment because you don't know what's gonna, because uh, you have a slim chance of scoring again and tying the game up in that five second, uh, that six second range. Behind the net, here's Roth. Roth spins away, loses possession. A fight for possession, which is kicked away by Skelly. Not only Skelly is a great player on defense and offense. She's just, she's been good at every sport that she plays. In particular, I ha was having a conversation with her last week because we both share the same gym class. And I was saying, you're good at almost every single sport you play. And it's like, don't let anybody get into your head and tell you you're not good at all. And what I typically tell people is link, which is, which is a term from Alabama's football team, which is let a naysayer know. And... Although Kelly is a senior this year, she's been really good at every single position, every single uh, game she's ever played. However, Kelly's shot is off the mark and it will ricochet off the crossbar. Shot, no good. Two minutes left remaining here in the first half. Gold is in trying to track it down. Here, oh, here we go. Here's Callie Rose down the field. And Ganji covered. Left side. Here's Roth. Roth has open room. She could have went for the attack there. Near side, shot to the left. And out of bounds. 
Genji will. Ooh. They are really going at it. Down the field. A fight f for possession as both teams are really wanting it. Let's see what they're going to call. Indians ball. Ooh. Correction, Falmouth ball. And another penalty shot for here for the Clippers. Shot. Goal. Scored there again from Roth. And Falmouth is up. Trailing by two. Great shot there by Roth. And Arlene was kind of unaware of where the ball was going to. In that particular moment, if I were Arlene, I would, I'd have the fishing net right at my face so I know which way I can go, whether or not the shot is going one way or another. Nineteen seconds left remaining. Down the field, here's Haskell. Hopefully she could tack off something within the final five seconds of this. Here's Haskell on the attack. Shot! Goal! Grace Haskell, 6-3 to three Dartmouth. And just an electric first half for both sides. Just really wanting it at this moment. And Haskell is just fired up. Five goals for Haskell in this contest. And the Indians will just, I'll probably tack That was really one of the best plays that I've seen in the first half so far in this contest for Dartmouth. Just before the buzzer sounded with three seconds left remaining. And that will run out the clock here. And that will be the end of the first half of play from Dartmouth Memorial Stadium. Six to three, Dartmouth after one. We will be right back right after this. Do not go anywhere.
ladies and gentlemen, and second half action is about to be underway in the next few minutes. Let's look at an instant replay of some goals. Uh, this one, Grace Haskell on the attack scores it there. That's how the Indians ended the half here. Now to the near, uh, now the spin away shot from Roth. That was another great goal there from Falmouth. Probably the play of the day for Falmouth today. And now uh, you had Sarah Kelly who did a trickery looking goal for the Indians where the Indians uh, now then you had Grace Haskell's goal again. Now the penalty shot is where uh, the Clippers scored there and then about 15 seconds later that's when Grace Haskell put the coffin to the nail in the first half. Nail to the coffin. There we go. 12 minutes to start off the third quarter. We have another 24 minutes for you guys left remaining in this contest. And the second half is underway, which it is... They're going to have to redraw here. And it is scooped up by Falmouth. Falmouth near field. Here's Roth, scoops it up. Now back over to the near end to McLean. And McLean is sh slow to get up here. That's not a good sign for uh, it, and I don't like how they how are the officials letting this play on though? How are they letting? Her, there's an injured player on the field. An injured player on the field, and I don't know how they would let that play on. So. With that, McLean goes out for a minute and uh, replacing her is Metcalf. Sp from behind the net. And a foul there. This is going to be on. This, they're throwing the penalty flag here for Falmouth. Shot. Goal! Sarah Kelly. 7-3 Dartmouth. Let's look at an instant replay here now as a great shot from Kelly. Just making it look easy for her. And the Indians will extend their lead by four. Layla Costa comes out and Makai Vincent is back in. Oh. Uh, But all concern right now, right now for Falmouth, is McC the health of McLean. And it looks as she's down on the near end. And the face off here from. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Just got hit in the head there. 
I don't know how you're not going to call that. That's clear. And Seamus is going up to the official for a minute. We don't want to get anyone to get hurt, but like when somebody's getting hit in the head, you're supposed to call a foul there. You got to be kidding me, man. And then they're just saying that's the rule. I I'm trying to listen in for a minute. In boys lacrosse, if somebody did that, I'd understand boys can shake it off. Big, shake it off, big deal. But this is women's lacrosse. This is girls lacrosse. And they don't have any helmets. Shot. Goal! The Cirque du Soleil shot from Sarah Kelly. Eight to three, Dartmouth. And just a trickery shot. That might be the goal. That might be the goal of the day. There, that actually might be. All of her goal goals have came from a trickery Cirque du Soleil shot. The other one had was a penalty. That was just about just about a minute and a half ago. Minute and a half. And whistle blown here. Shot. No good. Scooped up there from uh, Metcalf. Metcalf. Just great defense there for Dartmouth today. And a goal there for Falmouth. As let's look at an instant replay there. And it was Hawkins on the attack. Great attack, great shot. A great goal there from Hawkins as Falmouth. Extends their lead four to, uh, ex not extends, but trails by four with 7.45 left remaining here in the second half. Uh, correction, the third quarter. Near side, shot! Off the mark from goal is in.
down the near field. It's Roeberger, which is scooped up by, uh, looks like Ralston for a minute. Now Falmouth on the loose. Right now, Mesh McSherry passes it over to the near side, over to Femino. Femino over to Roth. Roth spinning away. Roth going to go behind the net. Roth going to be hit there. And we are going to penal and a penalty shot for Falmouth. And scoops it in. Roth there. And Falmouth back out, trailing by five, uh, trailing by three. And face off, one by Falmouth. Now throws it down in the near field over to uh, DePictro. Now shot, Hawkins goal! And they're coming back here. Three unanswered goals so far. Seamus has to call a timeout I for sure. That's what they're going to do. They're going to call timeout. Great call there by Seamus. In that particular moment, when you have three unanswered goals in the last three minutes, you got to call timeout because they go a little bit overboard. That's what happens with Dartmouth. They go a little bit overboard when they kind of rely on Grace Haskell. They... That's kind of the issue this season with the Indians is they always rely on Haskell, and uh, you got you you can't like sometimes you can rely on Haskell sometimes you can't you can't you gotta get you gotta give it to some players like uh, Kayla McGee she's out today, but um, you gotta give it to players like Maddie Golders and Cal Callie Rose. I'm not saying, I'm not saying Cali, uh, I'm not saying Grace is a bad player at all. I'm just saying, given a, a more fair opportunity for Dartmouth. And both teams will break out of their respective huddles. And some new substitutions come in for both for Dartmouth and Falmouth. And the face-off is won by Dartmouth. Oh, no way. No way. Now the attack. Shot. Goal. And... They are on a comeback streak here.
It looked like there was a. They called a foul on that play. I don't. They're gonna let that one play. It looked like it was a. They called a foul, but. Now this is going to be, now this is a nail biter. And it's won by Falmouth. Harris. Correction, Brown. Over the near side, over to Mohan. Back over to Femino. Shot. Tripped up, scooped up. And Kelly tried to track her down. Foul called on the play. And another penalty shot. And shot. Goal. We are tied. And an instant replay here as the Indians gave up five goals already. What are they going to have to draw up on this side of, side of things? All right, and the face-off is won by Falmouth here. And they're going on the attack. Falmouth can take their first lead of the game here. Dartmouth is back in their own end. As the Indians are trying to scoop it up. Loses possession. And it's scoop. Oh. Trying to stay in bounds. Trying to do that little toe touch type of thing. And back over to the near side. Over to Makai Vincent. And she's tripped up. I don't know how you're not going to call a foul on that, man. Ah, oh, come on, man. Spin around. And Dartmouth is playing heavily on defense today. Back over in front, over to Hawkins. Oh. And a chance to put. Falmouth up. Shot. Falmouth is in the lead. Six unanswered in the last five minutes for the Indians. The Indians got to really catch their momentum this time around. You can't be allowing leads to be blown in in the third quarter, you got to keep 
playing defense and you got to really play it hard. And one by Falmouth once again. Spinning away. Shot. Goal. Oh, they're not going to call it a goal. It's a penalty. Another penalty here for the Indians. Shot. Goal. And this one's getting ugly real fast. And the Indians... That is seven unanswered in the last nine minutes. And we are under a minute left remaining. And Kelly... So we want to welcome our viewers who are watching this morning on Dartmouth Community Media. And if you are viewing from across the pond in Port, uh, Spain right now, we, we want to thank you all for tuning in today. The Indians are um, trailing by two against the Falmouth Clippers um, after Falmouth has scored seven unanswered in the second coming into the second half, and the Indians only scored two. So we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen, right after this. Do not go anywhere.
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this uh, interesting matchup between the Indians and the Falmouth Clippers. Uh, Falmouth gave up, uh, Dartmouth gave up seven goals to Falmouth uh, in the se uh, in the third quarter, and we are at a 10-8 score here at the stadium. Within that five-minute range, five. Uh, they allowed five goals. And another face-off here from Grace Haskell alongside uh, DePictro. And fourth quarter action is underway from the stadium. And turnover for the Indians as Ganji tries to track it down, uh, goes down the near field. And as Ganji is fouled, coming down. Ganji. Over to Rose. And a goal there for the Indians, Sarah Kelly. And the Indians are found in their momentum. And another good goal there from Sarah Kelly. And we're in the final 10.33 left. And the faceoff is won by the Indians again. Now Grace Haskell down the field. Here she goes, Haskell. Gonna patiently take her time. Haskell, here, here she goes on the attack. Haskell spinning away. And here is a free shot. Shot! Tie game! Grace Haskell. And let's look at this instant replay. And Grace Haskell just ties this one up. 10 to 10 apiece. And face-off is won by Falmouth. And whistle-blown. And 
whistle blown. And another penalty shot here for Falmouth. And Roth. And saved there. Roth once again shoots it. Another save there from Marlene Johnson. <laughs> now Rhodes down the field. Here she goes. Spins behind the net. Shoot. No good. Scooped up by White. Goal is in, looks over to Avery Smith, back over to White. White will pass it over to Callie Rose. And Skelly shoots. No good. For some reason, that looks like it was in for a minute. I was about to say goal. It's not the first time they fooled me before. <laughs> I remember I did a volleyball game last year with Will, and <laughs> my director, Chad, even knows this. It was the end of the game against Barnstable, and this is the first time Dartmouth has ever beat Barnstable. And I remember going nuts when I thought Dartmouth scored on the play, but the but the ball went out of bounds. And I was like, ah, oh, they fooled me there. Uh, that full minute was just laughter. And then the next play, Eva Crane got a kill. Dartmouth won the game the first time they beat Barnstable ever. That was one of the, probably one of the best games I've ever done as a color guy for volleyball. And next year is going to be interesting for volleyball, though. And when you have um, eight of your players for volleyball who are leaving this year, and then you bring up some new gals from var in varsity, uh, JV, shot, goal! And that looks like that goal came from the pit draw there. Here it is. Here it is. Nope, it was actually Roth who scored there as the Indians trail by one once again. And face-off won by Dartmouth. Now, here's Sarah Kelly. Here she goes down the field. Sarah Kelly spinning away behind the net as she is double-teamed. Back over to Emerson White. Back over to Smith. Now to Caleb Martin. Martin spinning away. I mean, you have an open shot deflected away. Loose stick there from Sarah Kelly. Goes back behind the net.
And whistle blown. We got a penalty here for the Indians. So another penalty shot coming in. Shot wide to the left. Ganji on the ground, and it's going to be Falmouth ball. Back over, down the middle, over to uh, DePictro, and another goal. Twelve to ten. Dartmouth has to pray for a miracle here if they wanna in order to get this. I don't know how they and then this back over. And goal. That was Mohan, her first goal of the game here. And the face-off between uh, the Pictro and Grace Haskell. 3.55 left remaining in the fourth. <clears throat> Scooped up by Falmouth. Here they go. Down the near fields. Near side, over to uh, Hawkins. Hawkins. Hawkins looks. Hawkins. Pushed off there. 2.46 left to remaining. And they're going to run this clock down. And in. And that might be the dagger there. And instant replay. And the Indians are, and Seamus is not liking what she is seeing so far by the Indians. And now another face off from. Another face-off for the Indians here. Looks like Lil Ganji. Correction, Sarah Kelly. Another face-off again. And scooped up there from, uh, scooped up by Mohan. Mohan down the near end goes over to uh, Hawkins. Hawkins. And behind the net, two minutes left remaining here in the, fir uh, in the contest. They're just going to take their time. And they got to play aggressiveness of defense. I know this, the game's kind of over and like, I'm just saying never say never, but, like, 
the way Dartmouth is playing, the game's definitely over by now. And shot. No good. And then the fishing net of Arlene Johnson. And whistle blown. And Falmouth takes over. Dead ball. Going to be take o taken over by Falmouth, and they're going to run it behind the net, and they're under a minute. So this definitely is game for sure for, for uh, Dartmouth. So with this, Dartmouth will move to 1-4 and four on the year with Falmouth moving to 2-3. and three. A difficult one for Dartmouth, but this is one that, they need to learn from, for sure. Especially losing to Fairhaven and Aponiquit. Spinning, spinning around. And trying to track it down is Makai Vincent. As the final seconds of this game will tick off, and Falmouth will take the victory here at the stadium tonight. Today, excuse me. Your final score 13 to 10, Dartmouth. Uh, correction, Falmouth uh, takes the win here at the stadium. Uh, thoughts on the game is Dartmouth just really kind of. Didn't find their way in the second half. Allowed seven goals in the uh, third quarter. And then towards the end, they, they just couldn't find their momentum. Couldn't finish sharp at the end. Meanwhile, our next game here on Dartmouth Community Media is coming up on Monday for baseball against Westport. I should be on the call for that game. First pitch for that is 4, 4 o'clock p.m. From our entire crew here at Dartmouth Community Media, our director, Chad Amaral, our cameramen, Todd and Dan, our crew members, John and Jess, I am Ben Smith, your commentator for this contest today. Dartmouth lost, loses 13-10 to against the Falmouth Clippers today. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, so long, everybody.